It was the fossil fuel that powered China's economic rise, providing cheap energy throughout the country and creating millions of jobs. But its residue also choked parts of the country in hazardous smog and made China the world's top polluter. Now China is losing its appetite for coal. That's becoming evident in Datong, a city in Shanxi province known as China's coal capital. The machines have fallen silent at Hongjialiang, one of 25 collieries in the province that were closed down last year. This coal mine operated for almost 70 years, sustaining the lives of generations of workers. In 2016, as coal consumption here in Datong and other parts of China was already in decline, the mine had to shut down. And as China continues to move away from coal as an energy source, this likely won't be the last. Wen Ping, a miner for 20 years now, says the industry's future appears bleak. The coal industry's performance hasn't been good in recent years, and sometimes our payment is delayed. So some workers transfer to other industries to make money. Datong's existing mines are run mostly by machines, from coal extraction to transportation, a process that officials say helps reduce pollution. The coal is transported to the power plant through a belt in an enclosed environment. Because the pollution problem is solved from the source, when people come to Datong, which is called a city of coal, they find that the air is pretty good. Experts say China's coal consumption began to decline in 2014. In recent years, it's been closing down coal mines and power plants and halting plans to build new ones. The goal is to cap total capacity at 4.1 billion tons by 2020 and reduce coal's share in the country's energy mix to below 58 percent. In the time frame of six to seven years, China has transformed itself from, you know, a climate bad boy to a reluctant leader to now, you know, uh, with the potential uh, to embrace uh, um, true climate uh, leadership. Datong is embracing other sectors like tourism to provide jobs to laid off coal workers. And it's begun the shift to renewable energy, with solar and wind power plants already built. It's part of nationwide efforts that have made China the world's largest investor in renewable energy. In Anhui, another coal-rich province, the move toward renewables has been undertaken on an enormous scale. This vast solar farm in the city of Huainan floats on a sunken coal mine. Floating solar farms aren't new, and they've been set up in other countries in the past. But what makes this one remarkable is its sheer scale and capacity. Covering an area the size of 160 football fields, this solar farm has a capacity of 40 megawatts, enough to power some 15,000 homes for an entire year. Its workers include former miners driven out of the downsizing industry. Li Jingyang spent 30 years digging coal underground. Today, he's in charge of preparing steel frames for solar panels. The air was bad in the coal mine where I worked. It was a negative pressure zone. When you go down 600 to 700 meters underground, you feel like carrying a heavy load while walking. Here, the air is good. You can get sunshine, it's easier to walk, and the working environment is better. A solar farm built on water is cooler than one on the ground. Solar panels can produce more power with cooler temperatures. They are also cleaner when installed on water than on land, where dust affects the generating capacity. Shifting away from coal to renewable energy has its challenges, including cost. But environmental campaigners are optimistic. If your you know, coal uh, boom story is over in China, half of your global greenhouse gas boom story is, is over. For now, coal remains China's chief energy source. But some experts believe domestic pressures to tackle pollution and the global campaign against climate change could accelerate coal's demise in a country that once had an insatiable appetite for it. Ryan Chua, CGTN.